on this SD card and then we can use Matthew's SD card. Yo, that gives me so much anxiety. Hello everybody. We're starting the weekly vlog. Hey, let's go. And yeah, so it's Saturday. Kind of a weird time to start a weekly vlog, but we're gonna do it. Um, yeah, so we are just at a coffee shop. We'll leave the location somewhere down here. Dylan and I, when we kind of feel, you know, like we need to get out of the house and do work, we will do just that. We don't live near here at all, but we will make the trip. We make the journey. We're around Queen Street West, so I think we're going to shop around a little bit. Even though I don't need to, as you guys can tell from my latest haul. That's it, pretty much. I want to go look at home stuff because the... Uh, CB2 is right here, and yeah, I can show you guys my outfit later too. It's not that exciting. It's minus three here today, so it's really, really cold. Also, we are in a liner three, and we're changing to four this coming week, so I will clearly be in pain a little bit later in the week, but yeah. You guys have been seeing me to like these vlogs, so if you guys like me doing weekly vlogs, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up subscribing if you haven't already also I don't know if this will be like relevant by the time this goes up but All Saints is having a really dope sale it's like 20% off everything and their stuff is usually really expensive um, but this jacket though it was regularly 700 Canadian now it's 327 and then additional 20% off makes it 261.60 so it's like $500 difference do we get it yeah update I bought it I bought it <laughs> <laughs> why don't you talk a little bit about what you're doing because it um, will be live by the time we post this video that's true I hope it's live by today we are working on the limit this plan I'm trying to work for a catchphrase for the leading landing page but uh my brain isn't functioning quite as well right now. You don't even have to say it's time. You could just write time, time to push to the limit. Yeah. I think that'll look better too. Yeah. For those of you wondering what Dylan has been doing, um, yeah, this is the Limitless Planner 2.0. Better, more compact, kind of like, you know, you know when the iPhone comes out with a new iPhone and usually they're better. It's kind of like that, except you won't have issues with this. But yeah, Limitless Planner. I'm going to link this in the description box below as well as the Instagram if you guys can give it a follow that would mean so much to us because Dylan's been working really hard on this. Um, it's basically to optimize your time, work on your time management, productivity, so on and so forth. I used mine all last year and I absolutely love it. And this one's smaller so we've taken a lot of your feedback into account and this one's even better. So you guys will want to get this for January and this will definitely be up for Black Friday and we're going to be pushing it and whatnot. So. Grab Dylan's merch, y'all. Oh, this cold. Where is CP2? Oh, let me show you guys my outfit. Ooh, it smells like fall. Is it? Wearing a cropped sweater. Shein. These jeans from Simply Suzette. They're fidelity and sustainable. Shein sneakers, and looking fire. My mom's cashmere sweat sweater scarf thing from Neiman Marcus, and I'm wearing my brother's Zara men's jacket, which kind of fits me. Oh, it's like I honestly thought that was yours. Yeah. No, it's Maddie's. Oh, the bag from Anthro. This will look nice in my room. Oh, this is so comfy. <laughs> it's really comfy. How much is it? A thousand dollars? Fourteen hundred. That was dope. So are you inspired? I was inspired. And I, it makes me feel broke. Like, the jewelry production. I think it's so expensive. Say that again for the camera. I have such a smart and talented and beautiful cute. Nando's! Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, we're going to 
going to Nando's because Dylan's craving chicken. I don't eat chicken. Well, I don't eat meat, so. Um, but they have good rice there and stuff, so. And salad. So I'm excited to go to Nando's. Well, Charlie Bee's lit. I don't think I've ever been to one. Is that us from the States? No, from the Philippines. From the Philippines? It's the only Jollibee in Toronto. Oh, what? I'm pretty sure it's this one. So should we line up? No, I'm too hungry for that. Never mind. Next time, next time. We're going to Nando. Nando. For the Nandem. This iced tea tastes funny. It's, I don't, they don't have Nest tea. I couldn't find Nest tea. It was some, it was called Fuse or something. Like it tastes like sugar water. Oh. Mm, look at that. Mmm, quinoa salad, some chicken, and some more chicken, and some raptors, <laughs> some weird soda. Okay, I'm hungry. So now we're gonna wash my face, but I was crocheting a blanket like all night. So what I've been using, let me grab it first. This is an herbivore black charcoal soap bar. So I've been using this to wash my face. I find that bar cleansers have been really, really working for me. This little guy. This is the Glossier Solution. I just put it on a cotton pad and then it's like a toner. So it helps get rid of any excess makeup I may have on my face. Even though, like I've said before, I don't really wear foundation day to day. I only wear it for like really special occasions. So, yeah. So, I'm taking this Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Firma and then dabbing it under my eye. The night serum I've been using, if you guys watched one of my vlogs, I was talking about Drunk Elephant. So, I went back and got the TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Serum and it came in like, it was called Inspector Drunk and it was pretty much like the same kit that I got in the first weekly vlog. The camera died, but basically I'm done. But what I was talking about is how much more alert I am about brushing my teeth and thinking about what I drink every day because I don't like the idea of it sitting in my retainers and feeling like super like, like it's really just like contained in there. Um, yeah. So basically, you definitely are more aware of the Invisalign and everything. Also, we are thinking about Malibu today. I have Malibu hanging above my bed because it's such a special place, but I hope everybody is doing all right and you guys are definitely in our thoughts because, yeah, it's just crazy what's going on out there and borderline everything. Just know that we're happy Sunday. <laughs> so Sunday is like the only day of the week that I kind of allow myself to relax. <laughs> so got my coffee. Um, I like a little bit of coffee and a lot of almond milk. That's how I drink my coffee. Dylan drinks his coffee. Black. But this thing is really cool. Like from my soul. Australia. It's oh yeah, it's really cool. Gotta watch our friends and support. Yes, Sarah and Annie. Where's Annie? She's over there somewhere. <laughs> She's, She's there. So we just watched Sarah's thrift haul and that makes us kind of want to thrift. Thank goodness that we are actually not that far from a Valley Village. So we're gonna go for a little bit. But the thing is, it's not good to thrift on a Sunday. Oh, this is a good tip. Don't thrift on Sundays, guys, because... Even though we're doing it. Even though we're doing it today. Thrifting on Sundays is not, like, the best day to thrift. The best day to thrift are the weekdays. Um, probably, like... Actually, it doesn't really matter what time on the weekdays, but the best times to thrift are the weekdays because they bring out new stuff every single day at Value Village. Um, so they look through everything, bring it out, like, throughout the entire day. The only time they don't do that is Saturday and Sunday. So Sunday is by far the worst day to thrift because you are getting the most picked through stuff from Friday and like the rest of the week and they're not replenishing any of it. So Sunday's like, it's it's not the best day. But we're gonna go anyway because we haven't been in a while. So for us, 
it will be all like fresh even though yeah it's not great don't thrift on sundays guys changed and now we are at value village we're just gonna go in for like oh should we donate my stuff first yeah let's see if we get the coupon yeah but that's in there on but the it back, says right? donate here oh really this is the warehouse i guess <laughs> never seen this yeah me neither this is so cute. $24.99 though. Nah, man. So cute too. $24.99 though. So normally I come to the thrift store with a plan, but I just wanted to kind of see what was here today. Um, you guys saw yesterday, I bought a very expensive jacket, so I shouldn't be buying any more jackets. Oh, this is La Tigra. This is a really, this is expensive. This brand. See, it's a little tiger. Like, I like this stuff, you know? It's just a McCarthy sweater, which is like a Jeez. brand that does. 26 bucks, yeah. Is that cute? We're not even from Markham though. <laughs> That's cool though. You guys know I love these dresses right now. Let me get this. Okay. This is kind of fabulous too. Yes. Ooh, $4.99. These are kind of fab as well. These are so good, but just not my size. This is so dynasty. Is that so fabulous? I wish this came with a skirt. I really like this. Will I wear it though? Probably not. It's so cool. Like with a little like rollette under for like, or a bikini. Okay, I can see that maybe. Like a bikini on the beach and you like go play. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in here for now. Jacket. Crystal. This is so. No, this is more phallic. phallic. This is more phallic, so yeah. I'm like, everything in the thrift store, like, I'm debating on if I should do like a dynasty lookbook, like, fully thrift because it's so, like, vintage. Oh, very phallic. Is yo. this really phallic? Yo, honey. I need to go look in the mirror. I'll be right back. This is so cute. Like this with jeans. Skirt is. Oh my god. It's not even like, it's like, just it's like, like a... a bait, it's a belt! <laughs> Ooh! Whoa, that's Ooh. a cool find. What? Oh Whoa, my gosh, that's so sick. cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look. Whoa, and it has like a... Has a that's so cool. So, like, that's so cool. That's so cool. I love that. This is sick. That's okay. a cop. Cop that. This is such a cop. Emoji shoes. So I personally really hate touching the shoes of the store. Same. But I have to remember it's not going to kill me. That's right. Like, like I just find it really like kind of like icky, but it's not going to kill me. So this is pretty dope because the value near me has a mirror. So we're going to change, and I'm going to show you. I'm actually really happy I tried these on because I would have left them behind, but they're dope. Like, I wish I could show you guys the whole thing. That's probably the best angle. Cute, cute. These ones are like that velvety material. So I think we're going to have to grab these too. Oh, anyway. They're $5.99, so we're gonna have to get these. So comfy too, like I can, I can squat. I knew this was gonna be a hit. $10 Tommy skirt. The vibes are real. Dylan, I didn't know you were a Kenny Rogers fan. So, heading home now. Got my little thrift haul in the back. 
They charge for bags now, which is pretty much why I don't get bags anymore. But it's good because it's better for the environment anyway. Um, yeah. We got a cool little thing. Coupon, 30% so off. Once we have five of the six, six of them, we get 30% off our whole purchase. Which I, as like you guys watch from my closet clean out, I give stuff away a lot. So yeah, I think we'll be okay. So one thing that Ollie loves to do while we work is hang out. Ollie, right? You like to hang out? So, whoop. So, <laughs> so Ollie likes to hang out under the chairs while we work. He always does this. He's sniffing the camera right now if you see it. Ollie, hang out with me. Let's make... <laughs> Bye, Ollie. I look like a bug. Look like a cute. So, we just finished filming. Um, we want to go get some work done, but it's a nicer-ish day, so I feel like it'd be good to get out of the house. So, got my got my Whole Foods hot bar, a vegan mac and cheese, and a detox salad. Thanks, Of course. So, we're at Five Elements. Say hi, Dylan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you look so funny. I'm watching Christina's vlogs. Vlog member. Vlog member. Um, but anyway, yeah, we are at a coffee shop right now. Um, like I said, I just kind of want to get out of the house and film. Not film. Uh, edit. But the stuff I have to edit is on this USB, so I'm going to have to take you out. But I just want to keep you guys posted. The video is live. Let's go. <laughs> First coffee. Right, Dylan? <laughs> Maybe the new ones will do that. Hot. Oh my god, they're playing Christmas music. It's my favorite time of the year. Do they sell these tiny trees? My tiny trees. Oh my god, look at this Hanukkah thing. Oh my god, this is so cute. Hanukkah hamster. Is that the spot up there? Just bought all the yarns. Kenny Rogers is still in here. True. I got my yarn and this is what we are going to be doing today. <sighs> I find it very therapeutic. So, a few hours later, we have finally made the blanket. This is what it looks like on my bed and I posted this on my Instagram too because a lot of you guys were wondering about it. And I'm so happy with it. My bed's not made perfect right now, so it doesn't look as good as it could, but it's really, really nice. My mom also came up with the idea of like, example, you put a product here, it'll make a really nice backdrop for a picture. We're going to Guelph! Yeah! <laughs> it's so cool. So cool. I actually do love Guelph. You but do? I haven't 
been there since I graduated, except for like when we went to the lavender farm, but that wasn't really. That was, oh, was that near yeah. Guelph? Oh yeah, true, it was just outside of Guelph. But, oh wow, it was the farm on it. Didn't actually like get to go into the city or anything. Yeah. Um, the city or anything. Um, yeah. So we experienced our pretty much our first snowfall this morning. Our, it's very cold. Rachel's vlogging. Yes. Oh. I'm vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> and Daniel's oh, really? like, oh really? Where's this coming from? <laughs> it's very cold and we have the opportunity to thrift in Guelph because there's a good one out there and we don't have that in Toronto so excited for that. Also Dylan and I are still planning the baby party so we are hoping to maybe find some cool things there. We will see. Sarah's accessorizing. <laughs> no, okay. more so, so your first time on like Wolf Campus, right Dylan? Yeah. When did you uh, <laughs> Oh Dylan, that's cute. Wait, can you say that one more time? That's funny. That's not what you said. <laughs> A robot competition. <laughs> I just wanted to scope out first before. It's so neat here. How much is that one? Ten bucks. Nice. Really nice. Mm. They're good lasers. Yeah. Is there's one? Oh no, it's for eggs. Oh, it's so eggs. So hold an egg. Rach, Matt. But it's classified as a shot glass. But it's an egg holder. Want to show our thrift find of <laughs> the month? <laughs> we love this, don't we? Yeah. I found one thing. I don't know, I can't find her. Is she there? She would be come back here. Anyway, so we got a lot of this stuff because we're doing a woodland themed birthday. I'll insert some pictures here. It's for Dylan's nephew. I also found this dime of a dress romper thing. It's old, but it's a romper, so it's like a little bit, it's a little contemporary feeling. This would be so good for events. I'm really excited for this. So you can't breathe with it, you have it on. Where's the buckle on it? No, this is like. Oh, this is so cool. Looks a little bit messy, but this is just being into the vlog, isn't it? Yeah. In a in a vlog. So this is the are you recording? Yeah, recording. So this is the only thing I got from Goodwill today, besides like the baby party decorations, but this is so good. This is the best thing I've picked up in the thrift in a while. I am fancy. Here, I'll show you up to close. So here. Yes. So satin lapel, I put this on my Instagram story. I'm gonna put it in a thrift haul though later, so I won't go too much detail, but it's so. Oh, just finished filming my Invisalign video, and I really want that to be up Sunday, so we will see if that goes up. That's about it. So, anyone who's asked about Invisalign, I know I've been like talking about it a lot, but obviously, it takes like Obviously, it's something people still have a lot of questions about because I don't know that many people who actually got Invisalign over traditional braces. So there was so much more I wanted to say, but the video is getting already kind of long. So that's why I X'd out of it. But yeah, currently wearing the Harvard sweater and I have to get ready for a dinner tonight. So I picked up these jeans at Valley Village. They were $7.99 Canadian and they are Levi's, like really dope. And I have my pair of reduns, and a lot of you guys, as much as you guys love the reduns, you guys were talking about how they're really expensive, and I completely agree with you guys. Like, they're definitely an investment piece. They're very, um, they're not obviously the most affordable pair of denim, 
Um, but I wanted to taper these so they have a skinnier fit like my redones. So I've shown this on my channel before, like how I taper jeans. So I'm going to link that video in the description box, but I'm going to do that to those. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly what they looked like before I, you know, redo them. So this is my redone. Excuse all the boxes. This is the best. Um, but this is them. Um, obviously really wide on the leg, but we are going to make them look like insert photo here somewhere. Um, and we're going to taper them in. And if I could taper them in tonight, I will wear them tonight. So, had a kind of hectic day, but we are now at my grandma's birthday. She's turning 96, I believe, which is going to be crazy. So, now we're here. <laughs> Remember those jeans? I just finished them and they look so freaking dope. I need to put on better shoes. Just give me one second. So I wanted to show you guys pretty much like the ends of them, but basically I took them in a ton. You know what, let me set the camera down so I can show you properly. Sorry guys, excuse the mess, I just got home. But this is what the jeans look like now. Um, I basically made the ends all raw and stuff. I'll show you guys later, but they look so dope. I'm so happy how I, sewed these in and tapered them so they just like fit a lot more smooth in the leg and they are very very similar to my redone so if you guys are into sewing i'll link that youtube video on how i taper them um it's really really easy honestly i'm not the best sewer but i managed to get stuff like this done i want to show you guys like the close-up of them so i took out all of the edge here so it's all like this and then what i did was I sewed this also, so that way this won't fray. And I love the slit, I think it looks really cool. Like, check out how cool that looks, right? I think that looks really, really dope, but like, pretty proud of my little craft for today. I also tapered two pairs of Dylan's pants, so that's kind of what I did, but yeah, tapering pants makes such a difference, and honestly, these are vintage like Levi's, so they're gonna hold up really well. I spilled something on my mirror. Right. Time to sage. Um, a lot of you guys ask me like why I do this, <laughs> and it's just a cleanse. It's a good way to start the week. And for me, I, my week always starts on Sundays. So, yeah. So we're on our way to the thrift market today. I'm not selling anything today, but going to support. My back tooth hurts so much. Here, we're trying to clench down. I feel it. Going now. Come on. Okay. What is that? We're at. We're going to the market. The market. The market. Off we go. Hello. Hi. Thrift market now. And this is the outfit. I'm wearing a scarf. This one's my mom's. Um, that oversized H&M sweater for my $100 challenge. This is a Deegan Voltaire bag. The jeans I crafted last night. Love the way these look. I think they look really cool. And my Vapor Max sneakers. finished at thrift market thrifted this market I keep calling it thrift market we finished at thrifted this thrift market and Maddie wants to go to Kensington so we're just going to drop him off and it's called I'm like Chicks. debating on going to the crystal store do you want to go I'm always down to okay crystal. well then we'll go to the crystal store while Matthew's there and then Dylan and I are gonna go eat pasta at your favorite place Del Moro's if you guys know Del Moro's you're a real one <laughs> so Only weird. real ones know. Only real ones know Del Moro's, am I right? Del Moro's opened up like two minutes ago. To two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. 
Now we're going to House of Energy, which is my favorite crystal store. We have a deep connection to House of Energy. Sort of. Um, what? We have a deep connection to House of Energy. But it's true. Deep connection? We do have a deep connection to House of Energy. So now we're just gonna, We're gonna head there. I'm gonna see if any crystals like speak to me. I wanna build a crystal grid. Sounds good. But we'll see. Um, anyway, so we're gonna head out to the crystal store now. We're in Kensington Market. Oh crap, I wasn't even filming. This is the crystal store. We're here. Zoe showed me it and we're obsessed with it now. Love it. It's Dylan's first time actually. That's so gorgeous. Do you get what I mean? That's a little more earthy here. This is this is sick. Oh, and they have the palm stones. These are the ones that are good for meditating so you can keep them in your pond. Palm? What's that? Ooh, this is so pretty. Got our little crystals. Yeah. So, did you get crystals? I did. Yeah. Um, excited to put these in my room. Um, I was talking to the lady and I'm convinced my crystals aren't getting along because I feel like the vibe in my room has been a little bit different. These need to be cleared again. Maybe all the crystals need to be cleared again. Mm -hmm. I love crystals, but I'm not like super, super like into it. I'm not like, I don't know a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the best person to ask about that, but. Hello everybody. So I'm ending the vlog here. It is currently Monday, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Ah, I found my last crystal. We've lost her for about a week. So that is good, but. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already because there will be tons more weekly vlogs to come and maybe some daily vlogs this December. We shall see. But yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.